I think it's very exciting. Um, potentially, uh, it could be a game changer. Um, I think it helps to disintermediate uh, from source of funding uh, to those in need of funds. But on the other end of the spectrum, it also helps to provide structure towards what's already going on in the streets, which is people asking for backers, people asking for, uh, for money for their various ventures of all different shapes and sizes. Um, this provides a more efficient way of, of doing what's already going on. And, and I think uh, that is potentially very exciting for us. For sure, I mean, uh, Thailand has a great entrepreneurial culture. Um, we're not a country that is driven by very large corporates in a way that some other Asian countries are. Uh, our economy is driven by uh, small enterprises. Um, over 90 plus percent of the population is employed by small enterprises. Uh, so the culture is there. Um, the financial sector has developed a long way, but financial access is still an issue, um, especially uh, for startups, for the small guys. And um, if, if crowdfunding was to be successful, that potentially helps provide easier access uh, to um, funding uh, for small projects, for startups. That could only be a good thing. So you being the expert in the field of finance, so what they advice do you have for, for new startups? Well, um, for, for crowdfunding, uh, I think the key here is uh, not to over-regulate, um, to, to let the system evolve, um, be prepared uh, for the reality that mistakes will be made, money will be lost, um, uh, even scandals uh, may take place. Um, that's just the way things are, but uh, resist from the temptation to over-regulate and, and, and let it grow. Um, I, I believe that over time, uh, the system will establish itself. Um, we will be able to sort out who's who, um, and, uh, and that way maximize our opportunity um, for success um, for this technology-based uh, funding method. Thank you. My pleasure.